Koalas, those adorable marsupials with their soulful eyes and eucalyptus munching habits. They're an iconic symbol of Australia, but what you might not know is they're facing a silent enemy, chlamydia. It's true, up to 50% and in some populations 100% of all wild koalas are infected with the strain of chlamydia, different from the one humans get, but just as harmful. It causes blindness, reproductive issues, and even death. Scientists have stumbled upon a surprising twist. A virus eerily similar to HIV might be playing a villainous role. Studies reveal that koalas infected with this koala retrovirus type B are more susceptible to chlamydia and experience harsher symptoms like reproductive tract infections, eye inflammations, and even cancers. It's like the virus weakens their defenses, leaving them open to chlamydia's attack. But how do these fluffy marsupials catch these infections? Chlamydia spreads among adult koalas through sexual contact. For young koalas, the path to infection can be as unexpected as it is tender. Ingesting pap, a nutritious form of feces passed from mother to joey. Treatment with antibiotics seems like the answer but it often leads to weight loss and death. Turns out that drugs might be disrupting gut bacteria, essential for processing their eucalyptus diet. Without these microbes, koalas can't break down toxins in the leaves, making them sick. The fight for koala survival is multifaceted, requiring solutions for chlamydia, the retrovirus, and gut health. The scientific community is actively developing a vaccine for chlamydia, offering a potential future shield. However, it's still in its early stages. In the meantime, protecting koala habitats and understanding the gut bacteria issue are critical pieces of the puzzle. Remember, koalas aren't just cute faces. They're ecological warriors facing a hidden struggle. By supporting conservation efforts and staying informed, we can become advocates for these remarkable creatures, ensuring they continue to grace our forests with their unique charm and ecological importance.